What's happening guys? Gabe Villamizar coming at you from the Lucidchart headquarters. I'm the global sales evangelist here at Lucidchart. want to show you seven super sick LinkedIn sales navigator hacks that are going to blow your mind. Hopefully you've never heard of them, so let's get to it. Number one, log into your LinkedIn sales navigator account, click on advanced, and search for leads. This hack, best practice, or tip, whatever you want to call it, is going to allow you to find keywords on content that has been posted by your potential buyers. So let's say my buyers are VPs who are in marketing and sales. So I go and select seniority level VPs, then I go in functions, I type in marketing. Uh, another function, I type in sales. The numbers here to the right should uh, increase, so I have three million potential buyers that meet the search criteria. I keep going down, and this is where the secret sauce is. Posted content keywords. Let's say I wanna see who's talking about social media. I type social media, enter, and then bam, 51. So if my buyers were, again, VPs of marketing, marketing or sales that uh, I wanna find or identify who are talking about or writing about social media, then this is a great way to do it. Click search, and boom, there you go. Hack number one. Hack numero dos, go to your LinkedIn Sales Navigator account, click on advanced, search for leads, now, what if I told you, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually reach out to your potential buyers who have recently joined LinkedIn? Again, let's use the same search parameter. I'm searching for VPs um, of marketing. I type in marketing. VPs of sales. And let's say VPs of operations. Let's see how many uh, LinkedIn's showing me. About almost 4 million, 3.6 million. I scroll down, again, this is in the other filter search criteria that is underutilized. Most, most sales reps that I know or that I train and coach are not utilizing these. So here's the hack. If you click on become a member and you click on it, you, see, you can toggle or, or filter the criteria by your potential buyers who have joined a day ago, two to seven days ago, eight to 14, 15 to 30, and one to three months. So if I want to welcome these buyers to LinkedIn, if I want to be the first one to ever message these potential buyers, then you definitely want to apply this search filter. I want to see how many of them reach, uh, joined LinkedIn a day ago, zero. How many of them joined two to seven days ago, zero. Then most likely you're going to be eight to 14, 2,500 potential buyers who have and meet my criteria and nobody's reaching out to them yet. Be the first one to get there. First mover's advantage always wins. That's hack number two. Third hack, we're just getting started. Again, once you're in your LinkedIn Sales Navigator, go to something called Point Drive. Point Drive is somewhat of a new feature that allows sales reps to package content and share with potential buyers via email, via social, via private message. Once you create your account, you need to have a specific type of account to get Point Drive access. Then you can create these awesome branded micro landing pages that allow sales reps to insert specific videos, PDFs, uh, slides, you name it, etc. So then, instead of sharing an email with a PDF and all these videos, after your demo with your buyers, all you have to do is shoot them one link. One link, then when the buyer's viewing that specific micro page or micro landing page, then you can get powerful analytics that are gonna allow you to see their behavior and understand who's consuming what and where are they and have they done their due diligence, have they done their homework so you can hold them accountable to it. This is the micro page I created for Lucidchart Sales Solution. We created a new account mapping uh, tool platform that allows sales reps to visualize the entire sales process inside of Salesforce. So it's also for sales reps, obviously, for sales leadership. Here's the features and benefits for the sales leadership team. Here uh, is a quick video that people can learn more uh, about that and how does Lucidchart sales solutions apply to technical sales and if they want to get a demo or get a quote, all they have to do is click on there. Now, what do the analytics look like? Once you go to stats, then you can see, again, very detailed information, who's viewed what. This specific asset has been viewed by Jordan Barda and he viewed it for 47 seconds. Uh, the video that I put in my asset was view viewed by two different people. Gabe, obviously me, I was testing it, and Jordan. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. This one, total viewers, Jordan, Gabe, and Cody, and so on. You can even see who downloaded it. You can even see specifically um, who is viewing what. So, so far, total 11 viewers have viewed this specific micro landing page called Lucidchart Sales Solution Overview 
that I have created and shared and it's on brand and it's on key. Again, leverage point drive, LinkedIn uh, point drive and get the most out of it. Fourth hack, hack number four, here we go. Go to lists and you have worked really hard as a sales rep or as an individual to build your network on LinkedIn. You might have 300 connections, 500, 5,000, 10,000, etc. So what if you could actually filter and see who's in your network by the criteria or filters that LinkedIn Sales Navigator has already built for searching for leads or accounts. Well, you can actually do that. If you hover over the list tab at the very top of your homepage in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you'll see a drop down menu that gives you three options. My network, save leads, and saved accounts. If you click on my network, then you can apply the same search criteria or filters that you usually apply to or use when you're searching for leads. So out of my network, out of 24,000 uh, individuals that I'm connected to, 2,500 of them have changed jobs. If I want to keep my network relevant, if I want to be top of mind, I definitely want to engage with my network. Utilize these powerful filters so that way you can keep your network alive, healthy, and you can see who's in your network, what are the common things that, that you can relate to them, and are they posting content. Let's say you have a business trip to Seattle. Okay, one of our sales reps just went to Seattle. All I had to do is jump on here, see who do I know in Seattle that is a, could be our potential buyers, and then bam, you can make introductions that way. You've worked really hard to build your network, utilize it by then filtering and searching and finding and engaging with your network this way. Hack number five. So let's say I uh, you've been able to find your ideal customer profile, your ideal buyer or, or buyers. Uh, in this example, let's say I found Ryan Smith. Shout out to my boy Ryan Smith, CEO of Qualtrics. They just filed for IPO. They're in the process of filing for IPO. Silicon Slopes, Utah-based company. Kudos to them. They're killing it. So I have found Ryan. I pitched Ryan. Conversation went super smooth because of the vertical they're in, because of the pain, the pain I was able to identify, because I was able to dollarize the pain, etc. And you know what? I wish I could find more individuals or buyers that have very similar characteristics or qualities as Ryan's LinkedIn profile. Well, now you can do that. In your, in your specific lead search criteria view, if you mouse over these three dots, then you can see something called view profile, view similar, or message. If you click on view similar, LinkedIn then searches and crawls and recommends you here, here are specific, here are 100 individuals that look or view similar to Ryan Smith. So therefore, if I had an awesome conversation with a buyer, such as in this example, Ryan Smith, then how can I identify or find more buyers similar to Ryan Smith? Instead of trying to find those in, in a different search parameter or in a different search window, you can do this very, very simple by doing what I just showed you. Now, these individuals are not in the same company as Ryan Smith, aka Qualtrics. These are individuals who look like Ryan or have similar qualities or have input similar information into their LinkedIn profile as Ryan that are in different companies. Okay, so that's it. Hack number five, get to it. Hack number six, we're almost done, hang in there. So what if you could actually save a search and get notified whenever any new individuals or buyers join that specific search criteria? Let me show you how to do that in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Go to uh, your search parameters. And for this example, let's go, I wanna target VPs, uh, I wanna target directors and managers who are in the Greater Salt Lake City area. Greater Salt Lake City area, bam. And I want to see, uh, I wanna make sure that they are in sales. So based on those three uh, search parameters or criteria or filters, 20,000 individuals. Okay, narrow it down to however you want to narrow it down, whatever makes the most sense for you. And this is super important right here. Here's the hack tip best practice save search why do i want to do this because when you save a search right you have to name it test one two three then you can get alerts either daily weekly monthly or never hopefully it's not never so let's say i, I choose daily so then whenever any potential buyers joins that criteria that i've specified and saved then i would get an email in this little pop-up right here as you can see this email I got whenever individuals join the criteria that I specified. So I wanna be the first ones, I wanna have that first move advantage and reach out to these individuals before anybody else does. These are either new hires or people that got promoted, etc. Be the first one to reach out to them, add value, 
be relevant, and that's how you win. Last hack, hack number seven. This hack has to do, or best practice, or tip, again, whatever you wanna call it, uh, it's ethical. Don't think it's a hack, it's some crazy stuff. Uh, this hack has to do with syncing your CRM data, such as Salesforce, with your LinkedIn Sales Navigator data. As a word of caution, you need to have either a LinkedIn Sales Navigator team license or a LinkedIn Sales Navigator enterprise license. Once you have that type of license or account, talk to your Salesforce admin, make sure they know how to sync Sales Navigator data with your CRM data, such as Salesforce. Then you're gonna be able to see information, information such as uh, follows. Uh, let's say I am looking for uh, specific buyers. I identify Dan Cook as VP of Sales and Customer Success here at Lucid as my potential buyer. A new icon shows up and it tells me that this individual is already in our CRM. Great, so it saves you time there. Okay, again, only these type of widgets and, and data show up if you sync it correctly. What else can you see, can you do? If I were to message Dan Cook, I can check this box uh, that says copy to CRM and this message would also copy to my CRM. Uh, what else can I do? I can add a note. If I add a note and say, had a great demo, next steps, call next week on blah, blah, blah. Then copy to CRM, save. Again, all this data then would push over to Salesforce and all the information will be up to date. Really cool things. Now, what does this look like on the Salesforce side? If you click on the three dots and you click on views and CRM, it shoots you over to a window that looks like this. From here, I can save Dan Cook as a lead in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I see icebreakers. I can see that we have 20 mutual shared connections. We both work at Lucid, obviously. We both attended BYU, etc. Here's his recent activity. So I can see a snapshot or a glimpse of information that I can usually see in here in a different tab in the LinkedIn Sales Navigator platform, but I can see it in HTML or interactive iframe that allows me to consume, right, and take action and engage with him right here all within Salesforce without leaving or opening a new tab. Very powerful. If you have team or enterprise, a must have for tracking and for creating a repeatable and scal scalable sales process. That's it and that's all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are to an end. If you're not connected with me, shoot me a, a LinkedIn connect, a Twitter DM or a Twitter follow at Gabe VMSR slash in slash Gabe VMSR. See you guys next time. Peace.